Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Montana High Country 305 RL. This is one of my favorite higher end short fifth wheels. If you're looking for something that's 35 foot or under, this is perfect for you. Let's go ahead and start on the outside here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. Right up front is the painted fiberglass front cap. Uh, has a great look to it. Also, you'll see how it's cut back on the sides here. That's part of the max turn technology, which allows you to make uh, sharper maneuvers with your pickup truck, and that way you won't blow out your back window while turning into a campsite. Mirror right here makes it nice and easy to go ahead and back up so you can see what you're doing. Uh, align your hitch with your kingpin. Then you also have an LED light there in case you need that extra visibility at night. Let's take a look underneath. Go ahead and open this door up for you. You can see how nice and clean it is in here. Uh, great cable management, everything's right where it's supposed to be. Off to the side, you'll see your battery here. It does have its own door in case you need to change that out or take it out. Uh, also a vent. And then right over here is a light, again, for the extra visibility. Down below is your four-point auto level system. This is great. If you haven't used one before, you will truly appreciate it. It makes setting up and tearing down camp a breeze. All you have to do is push the auto level button. Coach takes a couple minutes. We'll go ahead and level itself out. And the best part about it is it has a memory. So when you're done camping, you go to break down camp. You touch the button again. The level system will move to where you dropped the fifth wheel off at. So that way you can just back your truck right in, hook up, and you are good to go. Right here is one of two propane tanks. You have a 30 pound tank on this side. The other one is actually on the other side of the coach. And that way you have 60 pounds of propane. The outside storage on the high country is great, very large. Uh, they also have slam latch on here. Take a look at that. That is wonderful, works every time. I love Montana slam latches. A lot of manufacturers use them. Montana uses the right ones. You'll also see right here uh, magnets. This is something new Montana has done. If they don't have a slide up top, they use the magnets and that makes it very simple to go ahead and put the door up. Let's take a look at the pass or the uh, storage here. You can see how big the garage storage here is. The reason for that is because they utilize a drop frame system. If you're not familiar with that, you can see right above the tires how you have a 10 inch powder coated I-beam that comes all the way across here. And then you see, boom, there it is, drops right down. And then you have an eight inch running the rest of the length. The major advantage of that, the reason manufacturers do it is this right here. It's a little more expensive of a process to do, but what you gain in storage is 100% worth it. Also, uh, light is in here and your TV hookups. Right outside here is an electrical outlet as well, so if you wanna you know, keep this door shut and plug something in, you can certainly go ahead and do that as well. Let's take a look up top. You'll see you have a power awning here. Uh, and this is great. This is exactly where you want it. You have a ton of space right here to set camp up. Go ahead and roll your awning out. You can set up all your chairs underneath. If you want light at night, that's not an issue either. You have an LED light strip underneath that awning. Also, if you want to listen to some music, that's not an issue. You can see there are two speakers here. Those are controlled by our multimedia center inside. However, they are Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and control it from right out here. Getting into the 305 is a breeze. You see you have four steps. That bottom one's nice and low, so that way when you do step up, it's not gonna bust your knee uh, to climb in, especially if you have bad knees, knee surgery, you know, football injuries, whatever it may be. This makes it very simple. You have the easy grab handle right here, so from the first step all the way in, you have that to grab onto and aid you in uh, entering the coach. To make way back a little bit further, we can take a look at our rims here. Aluminum alloy rims, they look really nice and they help prevent rust and corrosion, which is great. And in between is the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. That suspension system gives us three inches of travel, which helps eat a lot of the bumps in the road. It also has uh, wet bolts in there and brass bushings, which means on the maintenance side, it's a heck of a lot easier than what the competition is using. Also, if you take a look right back here, you will see the BAL tire carrier. This makes it a lot easier to access your spare tire. Rather than having to climb underneath and mess with it and have the spare tire fall on your head while you're under there, instead you just undo a little bolt, it drops down, pulls out, and you can easily get to that spare tire. So we come around to the back side, a couple quick things of note uh, back here. 
One is this, which is your tailgate storage system. This has a couple big advantages. Uh, one is the fact that because it comes from the manufacturer, it doesn't void out your warranties. Most, uh, most RV manufacturers, if you attach something to the bumper, uh, that will actually void your warranty because it's not built to take the torque. Not the case here, you will be all set. The other big advantage is that what it's for, it does a great job of. You can put bikes on there, you can put totes on there while you travel. When you get to the campsite, you can drop it down and use it as a table. Whatever you want to do, uh, but I do love that that is included. Rear mounted ladder here, this is for climbing up onto the roof of the RV, clearly. Uh, fully walkable roof, you have 3 8 inch decking up there. Your uh, rafters are 16 inches on center, which is what makes that a fully walkable roof. So you can get up there if you need to brush off sticks, pine cones, snow, whatever it may be. It is easy to do that. Also right above the T on the Montana, you'll see a little black housing. That is backup camera prep. So if you do want a backup camera, you know, even though this is a shorter unit, it is still nice to have so you don't back up and hit things. It is a lot easier to have that installed. Rear picture window here, we'll see that more when we go inside, but that definitely gives you a view, lets in a ton of natural light. Uh, but first, let's head around to the off-door side, we'll take a look at the convenience center, and then we'll head on in. So on the off-door side is your convenience center, and it's exactly that, very convenient. See they put everything right here, essentially located. You have your outside shower with hot and cold access, everything for winterization. Your battery disconnect is in there, cable, satellite hookups, uh, also your valves for your black and gray dumps. Uh, lastly, right over here is your auto level system. That's tucked away there. Uh, as I said, very simple to use. You will certainly appreciate having it. But all right, folks, that wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Keystone Montana High Country 305RL. This particular model is in the Nutmeg interior. So let's go ahead and start off right here in the kitchen. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is this center island. This is a large center island, especially for a shorter fifth wheel. I love the amount of prep space that you get in here. Not only do you have great space on both sides of the sink, you also have two sink top covers here, uh, which again, give you a great island. The faucet is a pull out faucet, so that's nice for doing dishes. Also, you have the undermount double bowl stainless steel sink. Now if we take a look underneath, you'll see you have one cover here. The other one is actually tucked away right over here. Uh, so as you can see, you have this little half wall, which is very nice because a lot of times you buy these high-end fifth wheels, you have these beautiful sink top covers that match the solid surface countertops and you don't have a place to put them. Not the case here, you just take them off and slip them right in there. Over here you will see four full extension ball bearing drawers. So that way you have plenty of room for silverware, spatulas, hot pads, whatever else you need to put in there. An additional drawer right over here. And then also you have a uh, pull out trash can. So I like that they do this too. They give you a dedicated place for that trash can. If you take a look at the front here, you will see you have two electrical outlets, one on either side. So that way if you need to plug in a blender or you know electric griddle, whatever else it may be, you can easily do that as well. Now right over here in the slide, this uh, you have some extra countertop space right here, an electrical outlet here as well in this beautiful decorative backsplash. Um, you know, you can put a coffee maker here, there's another spot in a little bit, you can put it on the hutch, I'll show you that too. Um, but either way, having an electrical outlet there is definitely nice. A recessed three burner Atwood cooktop, you can see they have the glass cover on here. Uh, this is very nice, just fold up and back like so. And then you right there, as I mentioned, the three burner, the front one is high output. Stainless steel top as well as front. And then you have the oven there for baking. Underneath is an additional drawer. Then right over here to the side, take a look at that. That's really tall storage. Uh, that's nice if you have bigger items like a pizza pan or cookie sheet, um, you know, or what, whatever. If you have some bigger uh, sauteing pans, whatever it may be, I like that they just have that larger storage area there. Some storage here on the side of the microwave as well as up top. Stainless steel 30 inch microwave. You can see how much space you have in there. Turntable there as well. I do have the weight of the unit on here. You're looking at 10,340 pounds. That's your dry weight or your shipping weight. And then the pin weight on here is 2,270. So we make our way over to the refrigerator and freezer. You can see it's French door style here. So double door. 
uh, 13 and a half cubic feet fridge freezer so plenty of space this does come out so you can have some taller items in there you also have these guards so that way things uh, stay in place a little bit better while you travel now this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover Moving into the main living area, this of course is our entertainment center. 40 inch TV here, this is on a swing arm mount. So if you do want to take it out, turn it toward the couch or toward the kitchen, you can do that. Uh, good storage up top. You'll see you have a DVD player, so if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop that in. Sound bar underneath, this is what controls the speakers outside. As I mentioned when we were out there, this is Bluetooth capable. Uh, you also have different speaker zones right here, so you can control if you're using the sound bar or the speakers outside. Underneath that is your fireplace. Uh, I love having a fireplace. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it's also very functional. If you don't want to use your propane heat and you just want to take the chill off in this space, you can go ahead and turn that fireplace on. It's essentially a large uh, electric space heater. Along the back wall here is your tri-fold sofa. Not only is this comfortable to sit on, it's also very comfortable to sleep on. Uh, tri-folds have become the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. The reason is it uses the cushions of the sofa itself. That's what you sleep on. Uh, you don't have to worry about having a big bar in your back or having an air mattress that deflates on you. Also on both sides of the sofa, uh, you can see you have a little end table there as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in uh, a laptop or tablet, you can easily do that. Windows all the way around, roller shades here as well. Uh, up top, you can see two LED lights, some additional storage, raised panel cabinetry there, which is very nice. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and take a look at the ceiling. A couple of quick things I want to point out. One, you'll notice there's not a big white box here. Instead, you have your air intakes on either side. That's because this unit has a quiet, cool AC. And this is exactly where you want it. It's right above your entertainment area, you know, where everyone's going to be sitting. You don't want this big, loud AC that you have to yell at each other to hear over it. The quiet cool will be 30 to 35 percent quieter so that way you don't have to blast the volume on the TV. Also it does have a heat pump built in so again when we're talking about electric heat as long as it's above 40 degrees outside you can go ahead and run that heat pump and that way you don't have to use your propane. Then as we move over here, uh, oh you know what, I'm sorry I forgot the rest of the ceiling here, a couple more things. Uh, ceiling fan right here, this of course will help circulate the air in the coach itself. Big skylight, you'll see that's right above the center island, so that lets in a lot of natural light. You also have two LED lights there as well for night. And max air fan right over here. Uh, that does a great job if you don't want to turn on the AC, it gets uh, some serious airflow through here. Or if you're cooking something, you know, cooking some bacon, you want to get the smell out of your coach quickly, just go ahead and turn that guy on, it'll suck it right out. Now back to over here. Uh, here's your theater seating. You know, I love theater seating in a coach, especially when it's directly across from your TV. You can go ahead and recline both of these, kick back, relax. You have some cup holders here for your drinks. Lift this up, place for your remotes there too. Of course, windows all the way around here, so we have a ton of natural light during the day. Uh, plug in right next to your theater seating. So you can use this either in the theater seats or right here at your freestanding table if you want to do some work. Maybe you have to you know, bring a laptop or tablet. You can sit right here, go ahead and do that. Freestanding table and chairs though, this does have a leaf. So this can pull out if you want a little extra space on there. And all the chairs have some storage in here as well. You can go ahead and see that. Um, you know, you can use that for either like tablecloths or, you know, the straps to strap the chairs down. You can hide those in there. Uh, you know, again, any, any storage in an RV is great storage. So I like when they're able to utilize it. Then right here is your hutch. Uh, I mentioned this a little bit ago. You know, if you don't put your coffee maker over by the oven, this is the other place I would put it. You see you have two electrical outlets. Uh, kind of creates a nice bar area. So if you want a coffee bar or myself, maybe a margarita bar, whatever else you want, uh, I like that they went ahead and put those there. Wine rack here up top. Even if you don't drink wine, this is a cool look. Put some bottles in there, uh, gives it a very classy look, and maybe when someone comes over, you can offer them wine, but uh, again, I think that's cool to have. On either side, uh, side here, you'll see they have ra raised panel cabinetry on the side, the frosted glass in the center just helps break the wood look up a little, but either way, that's great storage going all the way across the top. And then as we move down below, you'll see you have two drawers here additional storage all the way around there as well. 
So great storage here in your hutch area. The bathroom of the 305 has a pivot door to enter, which is great because that allows you to easily enter from either the main living area or from the bedroom. As you come into the bathroom itself, you'll see right here is your porcelain foot flush lever toilet, which is very easy to clean. Moving up from that are your robe hooks where you can hang towels or of course robes. And across the way is a very large linen closet with plenty of room for towels and all your other bathroom accessories. A one piece shower is great, just like something you would have in your house, less chance for leaks. You have a seat, great shelving. Uh, you can see the hand wand there and a very large skylight up top. Then over to the side is a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that, sink top and vanity, and additional storage down below. As we make our way into the bedroom, you will see a king bed, uh, so plenty of room there, which is nice. And you also have large storage underneath, which is very easily accessible thanks to the struts on either side of the bed. You'll see there is a headboard on there. It is padded as well. So if you want to sit up and read a book at night, you can do that. LED lights underneath the slide uh, help you read at night too. Windows on either side. Uh, all the windows in this coach do open, so that will allow for a nice cross breeze. Shelves underneath that. So if you need to uh, put down a glass of water or maybe charge your cell phone, you can do that too, especially with the aid of two USB ports here. If you need to plug in anything else, there's an electrical outlet. So if you have a CPAP machine, uh, you are all set. Right up front here in the nose is your wardrobe. If you look up top, you see great shelving space there. Then underneath is a large hanging rod for everything you want to hang up. The other thing I like about this wardrobe is it does have washer and dryer prep, but they're split. So you have a dryer on one side, washer on the other, uh, which is nice. If you have washer and dryer on your RV, or if you've studied up on it, you know that having two units is generally preferred to having a combo unit. Then right over here, again, another window, let in some light, good airflow there too. You have a bench seat, so if you wanna sit down to put your socks on, you can go ahead and uh, do that. And this does lift up, underneath you'll see a net, which is a good place for dirty clothes hamper, just go ahead and toss your clothes right in there. At the foot of the bed is a 32 inch TV, it is all framed in, so it has a nice complete look. You right there is an outlet, so if you need to plug in auxiliary equipment, you can do that as well. And you have two large drawers below for anything you don't want to put in the wardrobe. Also, right up here in the ceiling, you do have a vent. This does have AC prep, so if you want a second AC in this coach, one can easily be installed. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Montana High Country 305 RL. If you're looking for a high-end quality uh, fifth wheel that's 35 foot or less, this is one you don't want to pass up. Uh, if you're interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.